dear students <coughs> in the series of numerical physics we will be talking about the circular motion <coughs> and the numerical which is based on the circular motion now if we go through the circular motion means it is related with a motion which is taken in circular path this if it is a having a radius r okay so it is moving with some velocity that is v angular velocity if we take it as omega so if we calculate it so v is equal to r omega okay and after that if we go for the acceleration because of the angular velocity we are having a relation uh, acceleration alpha which will be given by v square r so if we see the acceleration and this acceleration which we call it as a centripetal acceleration centripetal acceleration so centripetal acceleration and if this particle which is moving with the velocity v and having an acceleration v square upon r so it will have a force and that force is known as centripetal force so centripetal force petal force will be given by mass into acceleration that is mv square upon r now this mv square upon r is responsible for this particle to move in this particular circular path and it is also maintaining the velocity it is also maintaining the path of the particle so this centripetal force is responsible for this motion okay now if we go through the numerical a stone of mass 2.5 kg is tied to a string of length 10 meter so suppose if we take this r is equal to 10 meter and is walled horizontally in a circle horizontal circle like this if we take a stone and tie it with a string and if you are rolling it and if it is meant you know so what is the maximum speed with which the stone can be walled around if the string can withstand maximum tension of 150 newton so when you are moving it is having a force or we can say tension it can be a tension or it can withstand the tension of 150 newton so tension which is given to us that is 150 newton it is also a force and the centripetal force which we have got if these two forces are balanced then we can determine it will be moving in this path circular path with the velocity so here t into t maximum into r upon m will give the velocity of this particle which is moving in the circular path now tension that is 150 newton r radius of this path which is given to us 10 meter and the mass is given to us 2.5 kg 2.5 kg so v square if we take this v square will be equal to 15 into 1000 upon 25 14 it is 600 so v will be equal to under root 600 so it is 10 root 6 meter per second so the velocity by which the particle or the sir what is the maximum speed that can be attained by it is 10 root, 10 root 6 meter per second so this way we can solve the numerical which is based on the circular motion here centripetal force is responsible for the motion of this stone okay